Sometimes you gotta go back to the beginning. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 horror movie prequels. Mrs. Leeds changing. Do you see? Mrs. Jacoby reborn. Do you see? Mrs. Leeds reborn. Do you see? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at horror movies that take place before earlier installments of their franchises, usually in order to shed light on how the terrifying events of the previous film got started. We kill someone, we get their life. Is that what you're telling me? I don't make the rules. I just clean up after the game is over. Number 10, The Thing. Whatever it is, it is still here. John Carpenter's 1982 horror opus is one of many people's favorite horror films of all time, and that is not an honor that's bestowed lightly. My God, what the hell happened here? This 2011 prequel takes place just days before the events of the first film kick off, and tells the story of the Norwegian research team that first uncovers the frozen body of the titular alien. When I went back to check it, someone had cleaned up the blood. If you've seen the original film, you'll remember that things didn't go so well for the Norwegian team, as their camp was later found burned to the ground and thoroughly abandoned. Despite the fact that most of the practical effects used on the film were later replaced with CGI, we've still got a soft spot for it. Number 9, Puppet Master 3, Toulon's Revenge. This world ain't big enough for the both of us, partner. The first two installments in this cult horror franchise saw a group of living puppets terrorizing the guests of a secluded hotel. <laughs> but when it came time to tell the origin of the pint-sized terrors, they turned heroic when faced with an even greater evil, the Nazis. <laughs> This installment in the franchise takes us back in time to Nazi Germany, where André Toulon, the inventor of the living dolls, is being hounded by agents of the Third Reich bent on stealing his secrets. The puppets fight back to defend their master, using their murderous habits for good. It's a fun and inventive horror romp that's well worth checking out. Have you enjoyed Berlin? No, I have not. I had a very unpleasant experience. I am recuperating. I hope you're well now. Well, some people lost their heads, but friends saw me through. Number 8, Insidious Chapter 3. <laughs> James Wan's original Insidious from 2010 hit the horror scene like a bolt of lightning, kicking off a franchise that continued in a number of installments. It's not the house that's haunted. It's your son. The aptly named third chapter took audiences back to the beginning by showing how the demonic entity went on to terrorize the Lambert family in the previous films. The action begins when a teenager named Quinn recruits a retired medium, Elise, to try and contact the spirit of her dead mother. Can you hear me? Are you there? This proves to be a disastrous mistake as the attempt to contact her mother instead brings a malevolent entity into our world. Talk about the road to hell being paved with good intentions. Number 7, Prometheus. Okay, let me show you why you guys are here. You'd be hard-pressed to find a horror film more revered than Ridley Scott's Alien. Decades after redefining the horror genre, Scott returned to the franchise by telling the story of how the terrifying xenomorph came into being. Rather than the space truckers of the first installment, our heroes this time around are a team of researchers looking to find evidence of an alien civilization that may have created humanity itself. Prometheus, we are now mapping. But when they arrive on a far-off planet, they discover something far more terrifying than they expected. Prometheus remains a controversial entry in the Alien franchise, with some even disputing its being a prequel at all. But its elements of cosmic and body horror give it a special place in our hearts. They created us. Then they tried to kill us. They changed their minds. I deserve to know why. Number 6, Amityville 2, The Possession. Wow, 
This is a mansion. 1979's The Amityville Horror is the quintessential haunted house movie, telling the story of a family whose new home harbors some dark secrets that wind up sending them screaming into the night. Would you please leave that damn fire alone and listen to me? I'm not going anywhere. You're the one that wanted a house. This is it, so just shut up. The follow-up shows how the house's previous owners had a similar encounter, although didn't manage to escape. It's hard to generate tension when you know the characters in the film are fated to meet a grisly end. But this prequel to the critically acclaimed original doesn't do half bad, weaving a suspenseful haunted house movie from the sad tale of the DeFeo family, a real-life family who died under tragic circumstances. <laughs> no, no! Number 5. Red Dragon What is this divine-looking amuse-bouche? If I tell you, I'm afraid you won't even try it. This follow-up to the acclaimed The Silence of the Lambs took viewers back in time to just before the events of Jonathan Demme's legendary film. I'll help you catch him, Clary. Like in its predecessor, a brutal serial killer is leaving a trail of disfigured bodies in his wake, leading an FBI agent to consult Hannibal Lecter in an attempt to get inside the killer's head. Red Dragon, correct. This boy begins to interest me. But rather than Clarice Starling, the agent this time is Will Graham, the very same person who put Lecter behind bars in the first place. With incredible performances by Edward Norton, Ray Fiennes, and of course Sir Anthony Hopkins, this is a great companion piece to the original film. A young woman says she's from the FBI, though she's far too pretty if you ask me. I'll tell her you said no. What is her name? Number 4. Ouija, Origin of Evil Let's begin. The original film may not have gone down that well with critics and audiences, and that's why pretty much everyone was surprised by how good the next installment was. Think that'll work? Thanks to the hard work of director Mike Flanagan, the prequel to the 2014 original turned out much more frightening and memorable than its predecessor, with atmosphere and frights to spare. And she told me the most wonderful, awful things. Set in the 1960s, the film follows a family that makes a living posing as mediums. But the act turns deadly when they bring the titular Ouija board into the mix, accidentally summoning a sinister presence into their lives. Board games have never been this scary. Number 3. Final Destination 5 We all gotta get off! What are you talking about? The bridge is gonna collapse. What? We're all gonna die. For a franchise with the word final right there in the title, this one kept going for a while. A prequel to the first four films, the fifth installment capped off the franchise by going back to the very beginning. You heard the news? Natural causes. Yeah, more like supernatural. As usual, our protagonist is someone who had a vision of an imminent disaster and narrowly escaped death, putting them at the number one spot on the Grim Reaper's list. Are you saying that we can't stop this? You were supposed to die on that bridge. You're not supposed to be here. What follows is a series of elaborate and memorable deaths, as our hero and his friends get picked off one by one after escaping their predestined deaths at the start of the film. They're dying in order. Who dies after Olivia? After all, you can only dodge death for so long. What's all that about? I have no idea. Number 2. Annabelle Creation Dolls are creepy as all get out at the best of times, but doubly so when they're possessed by a malevolent demon. This entry on our list doubles down by being not just a prequel, but a prequel to a prequel. That's right, it's prequelception. After appearing in 2013's The Conjuring, the titular possessed doll had her first solo outing in a 2014 prequel. After that, another film went back even further to show the true origins of the terrifying toy. Set in the 1940s, the film tells the story of how a seemingly benign doll first became the evil entity we know today, and its very first terrifying rampage. And you must be... Annabelle. Annabelle. What a lovely name. We brought you a present. 
I hope you like dolls. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. How the hell did he survive in here? I wanna go, I wanna go back. I wanna go back. Tell us how to cure this. I warned you, it's too late. The curse is in the blood. Kill the boy before he bit you. Number one, Paranormal Activity 3. So, a little bit nervous. No, I'm excited. The micro-budget horror phenomenon from 2007 had audience members terrified, and the third installment was no different. Taking us back first to 2005 and then to 1988, the film depicts the first time that strange events plagued the extended family that serves as our protagonists. You see that? Yeah. Did you catch that? Did you yeah, see the dust moved. move? It moved, right? What was that? Once again, the film is presented as footage captured by cameras installed throughout a normal suburban house cursed by terrifying phenomena, giving us a front row seat for the terrifying ordeal the residents face. This isn't the first time the series has taken a trip back in time, as the 2010 follow-up to the trend-setting original also took place before the first film in the series. If the debt is not honored, the demon will follow the smiling? It's not funny. Will follow the defaulter and his or her brood until its soul of an infant is collected. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.